Um, so we'll move um, uh, into some uh, developments in disease biology and prognostic factors. Again, I think the, the next few slides are really intended to be more introductory. There is going to be a lot of talk about um, both of these uh, aspects of CLL over the course of the meeting, I'm sure. Um, but just to introduce a couple of, um, a couple of key points, I would say. Um, maybe just to start with, um, with the regular immune system and, and, and what, uh, what normal B cells, um, how, you know, how they develop and what their, what their role is would be, would be useful. Um, and so, so B lymphocytes uh, under, oh, it's, oh, I see, missing some. So B lymphocytes uh, undergo their, their, their uh, differentiation and development in the bone marrow from, uh, from uh, a common uh, stem cell or early lymphoid progenitor. Uh, and during that development, uh, what's meant to be shown just above that uh, cartoon of the, of the bone and the bone marrow is, is that uh, B cells undergo a, a, a complex process of, <clears throat> of uh, um, random selection of genes that go in to develop a unique B cell receptor. And so each B lymphocyte has its own uh, uh, surface immunoglobulin or B cell receptor, which is what is critically important in recognizing um, foreign substances. Typically, this has obviously been developed evolutionarily for the purposes of protecting us from infection. Um, and uh, the, the, the ends of, of the immunoglobulin, the B cell receptor, are sort of where the recognition part uh, is occurring. And once they are circulating around uh, in the blood and uh, settle out in uh, lymphoid regions like, like the lymph nodes, um, that is really where they will encounter antigen, for example, in the setting of infection. They'll undergo th this, this process of, of so-called somatic hypermutation where they're trying to develop the best fit for what they're d attacking. And once they get that fit, then they expand and proliferate rapidly and eradicate the infection and ultimately go on to develop immunological memory. And this is sort of, again, part of our so-called adaptive immune system, the part of the immune system that's able to learn to fight off new challenges. And it's unfortunate, but um, like any other cell in the body, these uh, B cells can develop changes and mutations and, um, and, 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 and ultimately, uh, ultimately evolve uh, to the point where they have their own unregulated growth uh, and, and development, and that ultimately is what um, a cancer is. Um, a, a couple of very key points about disease biology is this notion that the leukemic clone um, is protected within something called the, uh, the microenvironment of lymphoid organs, the bone marrow and lymph glands, for example, in particular. Um, they sort of commandeer normal cells and uh, enable uh, and foster their growth and development through a variety of mechanisms. They ultimately create a niche where they're able to, uh, to, to grow, where they may be protected from uh, chemotherapy drugs, um, where they are getting signals that keep them alive. They fail to die normally, something called apoptosis. They, they have dysregulated proliferation, increased proliferation. Um, and, and ultimately, there's, there's protection within the microenvironment. And a lot of the strategies that have um, led to such uh, important advances in therapeutics have been with the recognition of some of the signaling pathways and some of the interactions that are going on in the microenvironment, interrupting that, trying to get the, the leukemia cells out of that niche and into areas where they may be more uh, susceptible to, uh, to killing uh, with, with our, with our uh, medications. This is just another sort of uh, diagram of this, just to, su just to suggest that, again, I think one of the important um, uh, developments is this understanding that signaling through the B cell receptor is critically important for survival and, 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 um, and growth of, of, the, of, of the leukemic uh, uh, cell clone. Um, signaling through that, as well as uh, interactions with, again, other cells within the microenvironment allow uh, not only the CLL cells to home and be retained within these niches, but also um, to uh, survive and proliferate uh, uh, protected. Uh, again, 
Um, this is something that will come up obviously uh, uh, regularly in this meeting because of uh, the specific development of B cell receptor pathway inhibitors, um, most notably abrutinib and uh, adelalisib. But the B cell receptor and its activation and signaling has uh, turned out to be very, very important uh, in understanding disease biology uh, and very important uh, targets for drug development. Um, abrutinib um, is uh, the, the, the target for that is, is Bruton's tyrosine kinase, shown there as BTK. Adelalisib targets the PI3 kinase, um, and ultimately interruption of this signaling pathway is proven to be very, very effective in terms of, uh, in terms of treatment, as many of you are aware. Um, another uh, key, um, uh, uh, if you like, uh, pathway that's been exploited with recent developments in, in, uh, in therapeutics is, is, the, is, is, is the apoptosis pathways or that uh, those um, molecules that keep the cells alive, um, BCL2 being an important one for which there's, uh, again, drugs being developed to target that.